Hey what's up guys this is Root from Dakami and today we are going to discuss the easiest way to store data in your React Native app. As some of you might know that we use async storage to save data but because of its behavior there is a lot of extra boilerplate code involved to actually make it work. So I made a small helper library where in a single function call you can operate with saving and retrieving data. The documentation is self explanatory but just for the sake of understanding I will implement these methods in a demo app. What's required is that we save a value in the app by giving it in a text field and later on clicking on fetch will display this value by fetching it from the local storage. I have already written the code for this interface. We'll continue to add saving methods. As you can see in our render method, we have two buttons which in turn will call save and fetch methods. The variable we need to save is search string. To start using this library, just copy the file in the root of your folder and in your view file, write Let's add the method to save and fetch. A few moments later. As you can see we are calling save on the database with key as my key and value is our search string state variable. If success the library will call this function which in turn will trigger the alert. We are calling fetch on the database with key as my key. If success the library fetches the value for my key and returns it as a callback to this function where we show the value in an alert view. Let's run this. So there you have it. Store data in your React Native app the easy way. Link for all these projects can be found in the description. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more as coming soon is navigation the easy way. This is Root and catch you guys later.